This is Jennifer Martinez, and in this video we're going to look at an application of an exponential growth. So let's go ahead and read the question. The table shows the result of a study of the growth of bacteria where concentrations are listed in thousands of bacteria per milliliter. Find C and A so that F of T equals C, A to this T over 50, models this data. So that is the formula that you need to model any exponential growth or decay. So let's go ahead and write down the formula. Okay. Now we know that T represents minutes, F of T represents the concentration, and C represents the initial amount, and A represents the growth factor. If it was decreasing, A would represent the decay factor. So we know in this case that the initial amount, when T is zero, it starts with 360. And the growth factor is what we multiply to get to the next one. So if we take 720 divided by 360, you would get 2, which is the growth factor. That makes sense, because if I multiply each one of these, this, the first one by 2, I get 720. The next one by 2, I do get 1440. Multiply 1440 by 2, I get 2, get 2880, and so forth. So it does make sense that the growth factor is 2. Now, why you have over 50, because usually in our formulas, we always saw C A to the T is what the book had, and that's when we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But now we have 0 to 50. So this happens every 50 years. So you have to divide that by 50 to compensate. So that would be a C, which is 360, 2 to the T over 50, because that would be the growth factor the T and the F of T change, so those are variables, so we won't try to find those. Makes sense, because if I plug in a 50, I do get a 1, right? Well, the next one would be 2. Let's talk about why this works. Moving this down, I'm going to look at these and how explain how I got each one of them. Okay. So right here, the first one's 360. That makes sense. So now this one we got is 360 times 2. That's how I got that one. The next one, I take this number and I times it by 2 again. If I take 360 times 4, I do get 1440. So you can see where right? the first quantity is multiplied by 2, and the second quantity is multiplied by 2 squared. So if this was a 1, and when t is 50, it is a 1, right, 50 over 50, and again, when t is 2, then it would be 100 over 50 would be a 2, so this is the same as, again, 2 squared, and that's the same as 100 over 50. So you can see where it does work. Okay, by the way, that answers part A of this question. How do we do part B? Well, now all we have to do is use F of T to estimate the concentration of bacteria after 190 minutes. So all we got to do is we have F of T now and T are the only variables left. So we know that the time is 190 minutes and we're at looking for F of T. And it's not going to be quite times 2, is it? Now we can estimate anything. So all we got to do, oh, I'm going to just plug in an F of 90, 190 there. And we'll be 190 over 50. So plugging that in on my calculator. Again, when you plug this on your calculator, you might want to raise it to the 190 if you have the caret button over 50. If you don't have the caret button on your calculator, then you have to take 190. I said 190, sorry. You would have to take 190 over 50 first on your calculator to raise to that power and then times 360. If I do this on my calculator, I do get about 5,014. And by the way, that is um, in between the 150 and the 200, so it does make sense. 
and the units of that, they do tell us what the units of that are in. What are they? There they are. Thousands of bacteria per milliliter. So that would be in thousands of bacteria per milliliter. And that would be the answer to part B.